Hi, this is Manancial VE. In this episode, I'll show you how to create a video inset in LumaFusion that has soft edges and can take any type of shape. This method doesn't use the edge softness feature available in LumaFusion under cropping. When using cropping, the cropped area is defined by a rectangle. You can adjust the corner radius and end up with a shape that is between a rectangle with round corners and an oval, but that's about all the choice of shapes that cropping in LumaFusion can offer. Using the method that will be described in this video, your insert clip can take any shape and still show soft edges. Applying the principles of this method, you can create transitions with soft edges. This is the effect that you will be creating in this episode. The effect is done in two steps. The first step is to mask the inset video. The second step is to place the inset video mask on top of the main video. Let's begin by creating the inset video mask. We start in LumaFusion with the footage that will be used for the inset video already placed in the main track. This is the footage that I will be using for the inset video. Notice that the subject in the video is visible in its entirety and it's not moving across the screen. In this tutorial, I will use a custom shape for the inset video, but you can use any of the readily available shapes in LumaFusion if that works better for your video. You could also rotate the shape to any angle that suits your project. Let's create the custom mask. Add a title to the track just above the inset video. Adjust the duration of the title so it is the same as the duration of the inset video below it. Edit the title and remove the text. Add a rectangular shape. Set the face color of the rectangular shape to black. Resize the rectangular shape so it fully covers the screen. Now, add a diamond shape. Make sure that the shape remains centered in the middle of the screen. Change the color of the shape to green. I'm sure that this is already giving you a hint to where this is going. Tap on the Colors and Effects tab. Tap on the Spiral section. Select the Kaleidoscope 1 preset. Make sure that the count setting is set to 6. This converts the diamond into a star. Now tap on the chroma key section and select the green screen chroma key preset. Now you can see the inset video in the track below it. Next, tap on the drop section and select the Gaussian 20 preset. Change the radius value of the Gaussian effect from 20 to 35. Notice the order of the effects that were added. First Kaleidoscope 1, next the chroma key preset, and finally Gaussian 20. Exit back to the timeline. Edit the inset video in the main track. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab. Resize and reposition the inset video so the subject fits in the star-shaped mask. Exit back to the timeline. This is how the masked inset video looks like. Render the project. Still in the same project, add the video that you will be using as the background and the masked inset video that you just rendered. Edit the masked inset video. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab. Select the Blending section and change the Blending mode to Screen. Exit back to the timeline. You won't see any visible change. This is because the screen blending mode retains all the color of the video when placed over a black background. If you would place the masked inset video above the background video now, it would look semi-transparent, as you can see. So let's not do that. Place the masked inset video back where it was in the main track. Now, here is how you'll make colors of the masked inset video solid and at the same time, the edges of the inset soft. Clone the title containing the shape 
that you use to create the mask. Make sure that the cloned copy of the title is placed above the video containing the background. Edit the cloned title. Remove the black rectangular shape. Change the color of the diamond shape from green to black. Exit back to the timeline. Now place the masked inset video on top of the clone title. And you're done. This is how the final result looks like. You can create softer edges by reducing the size of the clone title by just a little bit, as shown. This is how it looks like with softer edges. This is the same inset video with different backgrounds. You will find that the same inset may look better with different degrees of softness depending on the background video. There are many additional ideas that can be implemented using the method described in this video. Transitions just to name one. Please leave a comment if you'd like me to cover some of those ideas in an upcoming tutorial. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like, and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.